blood and urine taken at the postmortem were submitted for forensic toxicology testing. This included testing for common drugs of abuse such as cannabis, heroin, and amphetamines. I've had the opportunity to review the results and cocaine was detected in Roxanne Mitchell's blood and urine. They were at levels not sufficient to cause death but did indicate recent moderate abuse of cocaine. So the cocaine can't be directly linked to her cardiac arrest? Persistent abuse of cocaine over a period of time can cause abnormalities of the heart, but there was no evidence of this at post-mortem. The levels found would certainly have been sufficient to impair judgment. Also, the contribution of cold water immersion is likely to have led to the circumstances that caused the cardiac arrest. Do you fancy a chicken burger? Or we can go somewhere else if you prefer. Do you think I look like my mum? You? You're her mini-me. Can we have food later? There's something I want to do first. Okay. We have heard from Mr Wright, the pathologist, that Roxanne Mitchell had cocaine in her body, but not at levels which would have proved fatal. Whilst I have no doubt that it contributed to her death, the prima facie cause of Roxanne Mitchell's death was the cardiac arrest which resulted in her drowning. The cause of Veronica Mitchell's death has been established as drowning. There is no evidence of a third party involvement in these deaths. Therefore, a ruling of misadventure is appropriate in these circumstances. Misadventure? What's that mean exactly? Jack, it's all right. Just, just breathe. Misadventure. Is that all I'm gonna tell Amy, am I? An adventure gone wrong? Well, it's not true, is it? Roxy went in that water knowing full well she put shit load of that gear up her nose. And all the while, Ronnie had no idea. No idea at all what she was letting herself in for. It was no accident. And yes, there is someone to blame. Roxy. <laughs> 